today I wanted to talk to you about having fun with our paintings. One of the biggest issues we have in our painting is getting in our own way and one of the ways that we do that is to care too much about the result. But the best paintings come when we let go of the need to make a good painting, when we let go of the need to impress anyone else, when we just paint for the sheer joy of it and for the for seeing what happens if we try things. Now, the painting that I'm going to show you is a commission, as many of you know, because I've mentioned it before. So in many ways, I should care about the result. And I do. I would like this person to love the painting. I would like to make him happy. I would like the painting to sell, obviously. But if I care too much about that, the painting won't work. And I will just get tangled up in knots. So the point is, when you watch me transform this painting from the beginning, which at the beginning it's much more the colours that I'm comfortable with, but the commission was to create something in a very muted, cool colour palette of blues and greys and lilacs and mauves, etc. And so the finished painting will be very different from how it begins. And at the stage the time lapse ends, it's not finished, and it's still not finished, but it's getting closer, and I will show you what it looks like now and what I'm going to do now next. But I hope you see how I'm just covering up areas and often areas that I love in the painting, um, but they have to go for the sake of the whole thing. And I'm not saying my way of painting is the perfect way. If you do, if you do get tense and stuck and worried about the results in your paintings is a, a bit of a sense of adventure and a bit of a sense that What's the worst that could happen if you mess up a painting? Uh, the very worst that could happen is you need to either sand it back if it's on wood or paint over it if it's on canvas and start again. And if you do that, you will have rich history from what you did before. That's all, nobody's gonna die, uh, you know. The, and, and if somebody you know isn't impressed with what you did, well, screw them, who cares what they think? You are on a journey to find out what you're capable of and the only way to find out what you're capable of is to take risks and let loose and have fun. And this does not apply only when you uh, paint abstract as I do. It also applies to represent representational painting too. If you're willing to lose the likeness a little bit and then bring it back, if you're willing to lose the still life that you're painting in an abstract background and then pull it back again, that painting is gonna be so much more exciting because if you get it right, 
what have you actually gained? Uh, you gained that you copied something exactly as it looks. But did you gain anything in your spirit, in your soul? Did you go on an adventure with the painting and travel together somewhere exciting? Did you have fun? Did you wake up uh, thinking sort of ideas of what you could do with that painting and get excited about going back in? And if very meticulous representational painting done very carefully gives you a sense of joy, Please don't think I'm telling you there's anything wrong with that. I'm speaking to the people who send me emails saying I just seem so tense and stuck and now I can't go back into the room where I paint because I'm just so unhappy with what I'm doing. Or I'm speaking to the people who say, I, you know, I'd love to go do something more abstract but I don't seem to be able to let loose. That's who I'm speaking to. Just very quickly, this is where the paintings are today. Uh, some more work to do, bringing in some warm again. I've got the palette exactly where the client wants it. I don't like the big darks at the bottom and I'm gonna bring a little bit more energy and warm in with a few surprise colors. So that's what's on my agenda today. So that's it for me this week. I hope that's been helpful. If you feel called to have a go, Maybe go do your usual painting if you're one of those people who's been feeling a bit stuck. Maybe just go and have a go at letting loose. Just tell yourself, it doesn't matter what I do with this painting, nobody's gonna die, nobody's gonna get sick, nobody's gonna get hurt. That's it for me, have a good week, get crazy painting, let loose, and I will see you next week for my regular studio notes video. If you'd like to stay in touch with me, you can sign up for a weekly newsletter at louisefletcherart.com. I send a newsletter every Sunday and it always has original content in it. You can join my Facebook group. The Facebook group is This Painting Life. You can find me at Louise Fletcher Art on Facebook. Any of those places, you can stay in touch watch videos, listen to podcasts and see everything that I'm up to. And for those of you who listen to the Art Juice podcast, Alice and I have a new episode coming on Tuesday, so watch out for that. I will see you next week. Bye. For those of you who like to listen to podcasts, I was a guest this week on a podcast called Own It!, by Judith Morgan and Nicola Cairncross. They are two small business owners who do a business podcast and they interviewed me about the massive changes that have happened in my life since a year ago when I did something completely different and didn't think I could be a full-time artist to now when I am. And so if you're interested in hearing that story, you can go to the website ownitthepodcast, all one word, dot com. Or you can look for Own It on Spotify, iTunes or anywhere else that you listen to podcasts. It's completely free and uh, you might.